vlog. It's literally just a little bit after I ended the vlog from last week. <gasps> Phantom! Hi, buddy! But uh, I figured I might as well just kind of get an early start on this one and I'd show you guys the cats kind of exploring our cottage. Oh my god, that is a giant spider. Did I see this thing? Oh my god, it's a monster. Sorry, anyway, uh, cat, how oh, dare you are. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, I locked that door. You're not getting outside. Get out of here. Hi, Loki. Are you going to be brave enough to come out here? <gasps> Brave boy! I'm, so, I'm honestly really surprised. Loki, like, never, ever, ever does anything brave. Oh, are you, are you... you gonna run? You gonna run back? Yep, there he goes. Well, they're gonna just kind of get situated. I've got to finish uh, unpacking everything here into the cabinet and whatnot. Okay, bye! But yeah, as I said, I figured I'd just kind of uh, get started on this new vlog because I have to edit, uh, oh, this, this is complicated in my head. Okay, when you guys are seeing this, I have to now go and edit last week's vlog. But when you guys see this, it's going to be next Saturday. I think that makes sense. But either way, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, Finish unpacking everything and then uh, make sure that the cats get settled in and everything. I've already got their uh, litter box and everything set up, so I don't need to worry about that, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. I was gonna say the shenanigans that I'm getting up to, but realistically, it's still COVID. This is still in the same province, so the same restrictions still apply. So I'm not really gonna be going much of anywhere, but at least I'm not in my apartment anymore. Hi, everyone. So I finally got everything put away. I'm in my Snuggie. Yes, the return of the great Snuggie. It has been a long time since we've seen this, but it's actually cold as balls right now. So here I am in my Snuggie. I'm just gonna make coffee for tomorrow because normally at home, I have like a really complicated espresso machine and everything because yeah, okay, I'm a little bit bougie, shoosh. But uh, we just have like an old coffee maker here. So it's like, one of the old filter coffee machines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some coffee for tomorrow morning and then uh, probably gonna do some editing and everything. I know um, we're probably gonna be taking like a quick hiatus just while I'm up here this week, um, just because the internet up here is non-existent. So we're probably gonna be taking a hiatus for the rest of this week, but I still kinda wanna make sure that everything is edited. That way when I do get back, there's less work for me to do. Also because as of uh, next week, they're talking about lifting some of the restrictions in our area. So I wouldn't mind being able to actually, you know, enjoy going outside when I'm allowed to go outside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this coffee and uh, probably sit on the couch for a while, honestly. <laughs> Here's an update on the man, the myth, the legend. Either Daryl or Chad, I don't remember his name very honestly. But he has some friends because um, whenever the birds get done with their water, I pour it in and there's always left over seeds. So I guess they grew. But yeah, he's so big. And this guy, he has like other sprouts that I'll have to separate. Where did you get those from, bud? I don't know. He's a little tiny guy, aww. Oh yeah, he has some flowers up here. 
Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Hello everyone, it's Aaliyah here. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I am officially done one of my courses for the summer. Uh, my chemistry course, I had my exam a couple of days ago. It was completely open book, kind of like take home style. Pretty, uh, I wouldn't say it was easy or hard. It just took me a long time because like it was open book. So I wanted to check like every single answer because if I can, I might as well take advantage of it. But yeah, so I'm done that, happy to be done, and as soon as I was like, oh, it's so nice, I only have to focus on my human anatomy and physiology for the rest of the, until like early J July, so I was like, oh, time to like relax and stuff. And then the next day I was in my, my lab, and uh, our teacher goes, okay, just remember, our exam is in exactly a week. And I go, say what? <laughs> and like, I don't even mind, just stop reminding me, please stop reminding me, let me forget, let me forget, but no. So, I am now rushing to prepare for that one also, because I want to write out all of my notes. That one also is open book, so great. And then over a week after that one, I have my final exam for um, the lecture portion of the course, which is not open book, and I'm so happy that it is... Um, far away from my lab exam because then I can study for it instead of just worrying about the lab exam because I did that last time and it, it turned out okay but like I don't want to do it again uh, the this time the lab and the lecture don't overlap as much so focusing on the labs and not the lectures would be pretty uh, detrimental to your grades but um yeah I'm excited for it to be over but I'm also excited to be in the courses uh wish me luck Here's a little sleepy Templeton catch, hey, buddy. Oh, you're so old and so cute. Hello, hello. He's getting more white hairs on him to these days. But yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. Hi, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool dude. <laughs> so good morning, everyone. Um, I just spent the last little while looking for Phantom, and I don't know where he was. But do you guys see all the spider webs on his head? I don't know where he was hiding. I think he was somewhere in the kitchen, but he's absolutely covered. Where were you, my dude? Oh my god, look at your head. Hi, baby. Loki's been hiding under the bed in the master bedroom, and I don't even know where this one was. Oh, you're gonna get- <gasps> Did you get it on me? You did! Buddy, how dare you? How are you today, sir? Yeah, you're fine. How are you today? You good? Hi friends, I know I look awful. I'm so sweaty and you might hear some noises outside. And that is because mom's washing the car. Hi mom. Are you flinching? We're getting the car washed. And then I gotta go home and do some studying. Hi guys. <laughs> okay. Hi, so as you can tell, I am bored out of my tree stump. There is like jack all to do here because there's no internet, there's no nothing. We're taking a week long hiatus from the podcast, I just locked the door instead of unlocking it. It's hot as balls out. Uh, it's like 30 degrees, but I'll see, I'm probably gonna head out. I'm probably gonna run into town. How did you get on the deck, sir? I like, shut the door and he like snuck out after me, it's phantom. But uh, yeah, as I said, I'm kind of bored out of my treetops. It's only like four kilometers into town, so I'm probably gonna run into town. I don't even know if anything is open, quite honestly, but uh, Guess we'll find out when we get there. If anything's open, I'll probably vlog it, but I don't think, I'm like doing mental math here. I don't think the new restrictions from where we live are supposed to lift for like, I wanna say another like three days or something like that. So I don't think anything is gonna be open just yet, but I'm bored. I don't mind running into town. The only thing I'm hoping is that I don't get sunburned. As you can already tell, I am slightly sunburned from just wandering around yesterday, but what are you gonna do? I have two colors, okay? I got white and I got red. There's no such thing as tan in this household, okay? So as I said, I'm heading into town. If there's anything interesting, I'll let you know. 
Well, I was right. Pretty much nothing in the town is open, unfortunately. I'm on my way home now. The beach was super packed though, so I don't know. The weather's not supposed to be as nice tomorrow. It's only supposed to be about 20 tomorrow. But I think the day after is supposed to be really hot again, so I might look at uh, going for a swim. There's like a dock right near my house, so we'll see if I decide to do that. But for now, I just want to get out of this heat. I want some water. It's hot. Hello, hello. Where are we, Mom? Michael's. Why? Picking up your sister. Picking up Melina. But she was supposed to get off at 4 o'clock. She's never on time. Yeah, it's like 4.15 now, but um, it's okay. It's okay. It's yeah, so right. Hot she out. complains all the time. I do complain all the time. But it's hot out. I didn't like it. But it's cool in here. It's cool in here because we have the air conditioner on, but it's hot out. I need to redo my buzz cut too. It's getting too long and it's too lumpy. It's so lumpy. But yeah, I have to redo it soon. It's getting too long. I look like I looked when I was like six months old now. Yeah. No. <laughs> Say hi, Melina. Hi. Say hi, Melina. <laughs> you, still, you look so tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> so we're back at home now. We have iced coffees because iced coffee is good. Cheers. Cheers. Dude. Hello, friends. I was so busy last night. Um, I got home, finished my iced coffee, and... Um, Finished up my lectures, did the Quizlet stuff. <sighs> it was very tired, so tired. I have my last lab today, and then I gotta prepare for, uh, finish preparing for that exam. Finish as if I'm not barely started, but whatever. Um, yeah, long night. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> but um, it's okay. I have the weekend off. Hello, sir. Cats. They always want attention. But uh, I forgot to show you guys this pin that Melina got me, so I'll show you. E it says Queer Cutie on it. Isn't that adorable? We love supportive siblings. Okay, well, the cat's bothering me, and I love you guys, so I'll see you later. Bye. So I finished all of my lectures for today, but I'm probably going to have to do some extra studying and some extra, you can't even see me, some extra like note writing and stuff. Quizlet making and all the other stuff when you're done doing getting the information you have to actually learn it so <laughs> I'm gonna go for a walk for a little while because I cannot focus any longer <laughs> so when I get back home I'll do that but yeah nice little walk nice day Hi everyone okay so obviously I am home at this point um as you can tell I'm actually getting ready to go to bed I took a sleep aid I am so tired I didn't vlog today because the weirdest thing happened and I just kind of, I'm probably gonna start rambling because I took that sleep aid a little while ago and like I kind of feel it like it's starting to work and I feel like I'm going a little loopy. Hi Fanny. Uh, the Phantom. It's not just a giant butt here. Come here baby. Hi. Good. It's a big fluffer boy. Hi. So I guess he's going to come and join in on story time. But um, I didn't manage to vlog today because the weirdest set of events actually started happening. And I, I still don't really know what to make of it. Um, okay, so to start things off, I went stargazing last night. <laughs> this sounds like some weird... I swear, the, should just wait, okay? Just wait. So I went stargazing last night, so I was out super duper late, um, just kind of at the dock area by my cottage. So I didn't even get back until probably 1.30 in the morning. I don't think I fell asleep until 3.30. I was back but 5 for God knows what reason. I'm an insomniac. What do you want from me? I don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Um, so I was just kind of in this weird state of like way over exhausted. So I was sitting on the couch and then I got a text from my resident manager here saying, oh, hey, we need to let some people into your apartment because they needed to do something on the roof, but they needed access to our balconies. And I was like, uh -huh, cool, I'm not home, can it wait? And they were like, no, it can't wait. So I was like, okay, I guess I gotta go back to the city now. And then, so I was sitting there trying to arrange that with mom. And then somebody knocked on the front door. And this is very unusual because we weren't expecting anybody. Um, guy at the door said he was there in regards to the internet. Um, we don't have internet up there. 
and I was stuck in this weird place of being like, okay, I know that like my, we rent out the cottage just to um, kind of help cover the taxes and everything over the summer. And I was like, okay, did we decide that we were gonna get internet because we're renting it out? Like, I don't know what was going on, but um, it was very strange because he did not give me the actual street address. He gave me the number address, but the thing is that the numbers were literally like right next to my face by the front door. So I was like, we don't have internet here. Uh, so he left. I then phoned mom. She didn't answer. I had to wait like two and a half hours for her to answer me. Sorry, I had to change hands here. But so I had to wait for like two and a half hours. And then I told her what had happened. And she was like, I didn't call anybody about the internet. And I was like, okay, cool. So I think someone was like casing the place. I don't know what was going on. Maybe he was just like a really confused person. I don't know. It was just super sketch. It was really sketchy. So, um, I'm back in the city for a couple of days because, um, I actually have an appointment to go and get my C-19 vaccine. Um, I'm not feeling very good about it. Honestly, it, it's, it's not necessarily the vaccine itself that freaks me out. Um, I, I don't even know if I've mentioned this on the podcast. Um, I have a very bad needle phobia. It is actually the reason I became a dance instructor. Instead of continuing on with, uh, like veterinary medicine in university because I couldn't do the, uh, needles. I couldn't do it. Um, after one too many fainting episodes, they were kind of like, you may need to consider a new career path. So I did and I became a dance teacher instead and then my mother hated me, but that's okay. <laughs> we got over that. As I said, I'm kind of loopy. I'm so sorry. I'm like rambling because I took that stupid sleep aid, but um, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was just super sketch. So I didn't end up vlogging it because I was just trying to sort out like what the hell was going on. And then I had to rush back to the city because they needed access to my balcony. Oh, and to finish off my story about that, Turns out they didn't need access to the balconies. Yeah, I'm not joking. The, I literally, like, resident manager messaged me again, was like, haha, just kidding. They said they can just go up through the stairwell. And I was like, okay. So here I am at home early, but whatever. Um, I'm probably going to head back up in a couple of days. Like, my vaccine appointment isn't tomorrow, it's the day after. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna do a lot of vlogging either tomorrow or the day I go to get my vaccine because honestly, a lot of it is just going to be trying to control the panic attacks and the anxiety. And I don't know that I wanna uh, vlog myself doing that because mm, not cute, not good content. But uh, we'll kind of see how I'm feeling. But I kind of wanted to give it like a day or two after um, I got the vaccine. Just to kind of see. Like I didn't immediately want to go up to our cottage. Because it is a little bit more remote where we are. And I didn't want to just end up getting like really, really sick or something like by myself. Just because I know some people can have like adverse effects to the vaccine. And I was just kind of like, I don't want to get stuck somewhere if I get sick. So... I'm gonna wait a couple of days and then probably head back up and then Aaliyah and Charlie are supposed to join me at the cabin because we did get a slight lift in restrictions. It's still like ridiculously locked down in my opinion. I don't know why we're still at this stage, like where we are, but um, my brain is a galaxy brain. Did you like see my brain just like started wandering off without me for a second there? I was like, ah. um, what was I saying? Oh god, this, uh, what was I talking? Oh, the restrictions, oh my god. Okay, um, I don't know why we're still as locked down as we are where we live, but basically the new restrictions are like, you can have, I think it's like up to two households. I'm trying to remember, like it's very specific phrasing, like very specific. It's like, you can have two households, but up to like, five people including yourself so like four visitors but only from two households so basically like Ali and her sister Charlie and her sister and me that would be like all we were allowed to have um I don't know it's like 
it's so super uber specific, which is kind of a pain, but whatever. Um, but we are allowed to get together at this point, so they're gonna probably come and join me up at the cabin for a little while. This is kind of like a yearly thing we do. Normally we take all of the dance girls, but obviously we can't do that, which is really disappointing. So I'm gonna be taking um, Charlie and Aaliyah, just because Aaliyah and I still need to film for the vlogs and the podcasts and everything else, so we have stuff to do while we're there. Um, it's kind of been weird taking like a week off from the podcast. We're just like rearranging our schedule and everything else just because Aaliyah's uh, school schedule is about to get a lot more intense. So um, I know we were talking about like dropping down to two episodes a week. I'm sorry if you enjoy three episodes, I'm really sorry, but we are gonna be dropping probably to two episodes a week and we're gonna be changing the days that we upload on. We're gonna be uploading, I think we said Monday and Friday. Don't quote me on that just in case I'm wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure, I think we're gonna finish off uh, June like as planned just because we kind of had stuff set out that we were going to be doing for um, Gay Pride Month. But uh, once we hit July, I think we're gonna be changing the schedule. And now I'm gonna go to bed because I can't focus for anything. I'm so sorry. I've been like rambling for almost 10 minutes. I need to go, okay. Good night guys, love you, Mwah. bye.